You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Instagram, you up to bat. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another one. We got craziest IG live moments of all time. I don't know what to expect on this one. I'm here though. Let's go ahead and get it. Fire Squad was popping. Let's get it. These are some of the craziest IG and Facebook live moments of all time. Starting with a dude from Alabama named Chris, who was driving okay. around the city, begging to be shot at, since he wanted to see what hood stands on the most business. Hell. Because you can hear Chris riding through the first hood, and he lets the live know that they just hit him up. Oh, this car coming in hot. Oh, they want to land down. This just shot me out, look, my window bush. I hold my car. Enzo just shot me out, y'all. After getting shot at by some dudes from the first hood, Chris okay. then lets everyone on the live know that dudes from Ensley actually stand on business. He then calls out the next hood and says it's their turn. Show them they're about it too, or better than Ensley. I'm bleeding. I think I'm bleeding. Enzo shot me out. So, talking about something. They talking about something over here. Let's see what they're talking about. Enzo just with me. I ain't gonna call police on y'all, bro. Y'all chill. Y'all straight. Y'all ain't got rap, eh? Let's chill. Everybody chill. I'm getting out of there. Chris keeps letting everyone know that Inslee and Birmingham's actually about it since he they hit him. But now he wants Bessemer to take him out, see if they're actually about that life. He's about that shit out. Birmingham about that shit out. Damn, who got it? Who ready? Kishan, you ready? It's your time with the 308. I think they'll shoot a nine. I think. I thought it was a nice shooter. Chris then let everyone on the live know he was headed to Shell's gas station in Bessemer so they could go ahead and take him out. I'm gonna get y'all out I'm gonna get y'all out I'm gonna get y'all out y'all British and take me out on that. I'm gonna park at Shell. I'm gonna park at Shell. Y'all go on with the race. Y'all one shot. Ah, them boys' hands are clapping me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Bell some I was born and raised in Bell's out of Bounty. Yeah. Not too long after pulling up at the gas station, some random dudes pulled up to help Chris out since he was hurting. But seconds no. later, the camera goes black and you can hear firing in the background. Come here. Move my Come here. Jump on me. No, you ain't. Thankfully, mm. Chris ended up making it out of this situation alive. But unfortunately, not too long after this, he ended up losing his life at another gas station in Bessemer, Alabama. What? Now, let's move on to a man that got caught slipping on live. Why would you be riding through the city talking about shoot me, kill me? What is these people on, bro? After he just got done robbing someone, the man went on live and started dissing and flexing on the man that he had just robbed since it was one of his ops. Man, mm. it's raw. man, I be striking for real. Y'all know what the going on, God, man. Get away, though. Ain't I just robbed me an F? My Muslim brother. Seconds later, someone who must have been watching his live and knew his location pulled up and robbed the robber and took everything from him, including the car he was in. Wow. He said you but got his it. next man didn't have any problems with his ops on live. Instead, it was the cops. In May 2020, a 21 year old named Sean Reed was driving down I 65 in Indianapolis when an unmarked cop car saw Reed driving recklessly and almost hit another vehicle. So he began following him and even requested backup inside the vehicle. Sean was on live while driving, and when backup arrived, they ended up getting into a high speed chase for about 10 minutes. Bro, what do these people be thinking about? The chase eventually ended when Shine drove into a local business and parked. He attempted to get out and run away, which led to Shine getting tased by the police. Mm. Oh baby, oh baby, what's this, Michigan and what? Michigan and what, Ace? I'm gonna park this motherfucker. on mid 60 second in Michigan. Somebody come get my stupid Please come get me. Please go get me, I'm on 60 second in Michigan. He said, Michigan. please come get me. Go. Please come get me. Oh. Oh. Not long after getting tased, shots can be heard going off in the background from the police. The live stream continued after he was hit, with more than 6,000 people still watching. The video also captures police comments after Sean had been hit, because one officer can be heard saying, Wow. 
should probably, probably run, run after here. him and then tase him. And then I'm saying that's a good thing to shoot at him. That's yeah. One of the detectives eventually notices the phone and ends mm. the live. But the video quickly started going viral on social media, oh, leading to accusations yeah. of police brutality. Police wow. claimed that Sean fired first and they were just protecting themselves. But the mm. comments definitely weren't a good look. The officer who did it was put under investigation and Sean's mother ended up winning a wrongful death lawsuit for $390,000 in February, 2023. But now let's talk about GBO Gaston because Jeez. he's a LA rapper known for dissing people for clout. After Nipsey passed, he started claiming that it was his body. Rest in peace to that dude, man. Gaston originally came up as a gaming YouTuber, but he started going crazy on social media, chasing clout and trying to act hard. He threatened dudes like Crip Mac on IG Live before. And there's even one video that surfaced that shows him blowing at one of his ops while wow. they were on IG Live with each other. What? God damn it. He signed the hair email. Wow. The dude wasn't phased by what GBO Gaston did, since Damn. he knew Gaston wasn't really about that action. This clip went insanely viral, since no one had ever seen anything like that before on live. But the mm. video only gets crazier, because Gaston isn't the only rapper who got famous from crazy incidents that happened on live. Because Honeycomb Brazy has had multiple incidents on live that could have costed his life. Because in November 2020, Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy went to buy a Kobe Bryant jersey from someone in Montgomery, Alabama. And Brazy was chilling in a parked car outside a barbershop with some of his partners showing off the jersey to everyone on his live. But suddenly, things went left. Then mm. shots started going off. I had to buy another one, man. We need a big man. Whoever the big man, stop for real and the post for real, come yeah, get it, man. Yeah, you gotta be come shit get like Kobe. You can't that you got it. for real, come you get it. You got it. Come get 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 the screen goes black, while more rounds are fired in the background. Thankfully, everyone made it out of this situation safe. Brazy Jeez. later released the surveillance footage from outside the barbershop to show another angle of when we're down. A gray SUV can be seen driving by them before Brazy's friends start ducking down behind the car. And a few mm. days after the incident, Brazy went back on live to explain what happened. Say bye. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> the shooters hit the car up pretty bad, and you would have thought Brazy would have been more cautious before going live after this. But a few months later, he was back in the hood chilling with some of his people. Until out of nowhere, you can see this in the background. So man, y'all already know y'all. Y'all know I'm money bag, yo, D man. Y'all know what's going on, man. I'm mostly happy here, y'all. I swear it. <laughs> And it doesn't end there with Brazy, because on February 17th, 2021, a man and a lady lost their life while inside their home after someone hit the house up very badly and firebombed it. Firefighters were called wow. to the scene after the fire was started, and other people in the community streamed it on Facebook Live. Hell no. Nah. This is crazy. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. What is going on? Oh man, she watch your mama, man. Lord have mercy. The Jeez. victims were identified as Tony Lewis and Aaliyah Lewis, and they're the grandparents of mobile Alabama rapper Anika Ombrazy. One of wow. the neighbors spoke on the situation as well when the news questioned them about it, and this is what they had to say. Watching TV and we heard gunshots and actually saw some bullets go across our head, so we, mm. we had to get down. We had to get, get down. Get down. Get down. Gunshots in here. I heard over 100, 100 shots. He was wow. a father. He helped us raise our children. My mom and my daddy did not. This is some, this is crazy, man. Wow. A hundred shots. Deserve to die like they did. Mm. And we want justice. Cause ain't no peace. Ain't no peace in how they live here. More than a year after the incident, police arrested Darren Southall, Terrence Watkins, Jamarcus Chambers, and another suspect. And all of them were charged with two counts of murder and several accounts of shooting into a home. And one of the suspects was also known to be a drug kingpin. And sometimes crazy things can happen on live, even if you're not affiliated with the streets. One day, a woman from Jacksonville, Florida was preaching on her Facebook Live. And seconds later, you could hear her home getting hit with bullets while Whoa. she was preaching. They don't want you to know about it.
thankfully, Whoa. no one was harmed in this situation. And that isn't the only time something crazy happened to someone on live who had nothing to do with street politics. Because 38-year-old Warsaw Anagar was on live one day disagreeing with some things the Ethiopian government had done since he's from Ethiopia. But while live, some dudes ran up on both sides of the car, Ooh. demanding him to get out of the car. 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 Man, I'm not playing with you. What Seconds after he got out of the car, one they of the carjackers got wow. behind the wheel and drove off while the live was still rolling. Wow. Till he eventually noticed the camera and hit the phone out of the way. Huh? Right, right. Jeez. Right. Oh, you did right. Not too long after this incident, Warsaw spoke about the incident to news reports. I'm so I'm so scared because they have a gun. Mm. Uh, they shoot me. They say to get off your car. They take my car. And police were also able to recover Warsaw's car and get it safely back to him. Taking Jeez. something from someone or even talking trash always comes with a huge risk because you never know how the person is going to retaliate. And that's, that's what happened in this next clip. There's one gangster who was at the gas station just pumping gas until one of his ops spotted who he was and mm. pressed him since he was talking crazy online. They caught him. Oh, that ain't who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. Mm. That ain't who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. The dude seemed embarrassed since he didn't say anything. But seconds later, the person recording threw a hook and dropped the dude. He went on to drop the dude about three times back to back since wow. he claimed that the man shouldn't have been talking crazy to him and his mm. people. And seconds later, he spotted the dude's friend in the car and went up and pressed him as well since nah. he claimed he was also talking crazy. Nah. Who acting crazy? Who acting crazy? That you talking crazy too on? You talk crazy? Pull a gun out if you want to. Nah. Pull a gun out if you want to. Pop your Pull a gun out. He ain't help his homie, look. He ain't help his homie. He ain't help his homie. He's a He's a bitch. Look at him. Falling. Falling. And sometimes, mm. it's just best to keep things off the internet and not to go live. Because this next man wasn't so lucky and ended up getting busted seconds after bragging about a shooting he had just committed on live. The dude had just wow. popped someone and went on live seconds after the shooting to let everyone know about what? it while riding in the car with someone. The dude was obviously feeling himself after the shooting since he let everyone know how many times he hit his target. Wow. Yeah, I hit he then went on to let everyone know that Hell the shooting man. was going to make the news later that night since he put the dude in the hospital. I don't know I'm gonna shoot this. I'm God, I hit it about four times. Keep running for I'm already pissed off, bro. Hell nah. God, make the news. Like, this is life we talking about. This stuff is like not valuable at all to some people. Like, this is just nuts. The news make the make the god who that make the news tonight. Want to play? Put his in the hospital. And seconds later, after all the bragging on live, police pulled up on the dude, and this happened. I don't want. And they turn around. I'm out on foot. They turn around, is it? Mm. Get out, my queen. Get out, my mama. Get out. Get out. Go, 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 go. Mm. He running like a mug. Mm. He looking at the camera and everything. Hey, I ain't did mm. what I do. Don't shoot, man. I ain't got to the search. And it seems like they must have been watching this live without mm. him knowing. And that's how they quickly found out where he was. But it ain't always the dudes who have crazy things go down on live either. Because mm. one day, this girl decided to take the police on a high speed chase to try and get clout. To try and get clout. To get clout? No way. This is nuts, bro. Right oh, she said, call my brother, see no hair? Yeah. The girls weren't even getting anywhere with the chase, and they instantly knew it was a bad idea. They quickly folded once the cops caught up with them. For clout. 
Y'all look now. And that ain't the only time something crazy happened to some girls while on live. Because a group of girls were on Facebook Live arguing with some of their ops. I can't even beat the type of fight. What the f they gonna do? And I guess they weren't prepared for what happened next because one of the people they were arguing with came up to them and sprayed bear mace in the car to get at him. Oh. Oh. Dang. Bear it seems best not even using live if you know you have ops since it almost automatically gives them your location if they're familiar with the area because mm. chicago rapper spider d went viral for a situation he had while on ig live back in may 2020 he was outside talking about some new music he planned to drop but out of nowhere he changed the topic and started talking about his ops seconds mm. later you could hear a car pull up and someone hit at him with a button mm. they know hey you know what they say about the Oh, with the hoodie on in the summertime on BD. He ain't out here trying to play. BD in. Right up. Mm. According to internet rumors, Spider D had dissed someone named Jiski from a GD set. Jeez. Because there's even videos of the two beefing with each other on Instagram Live. Break it down to beef and what beef? Folks what them beef don't do know you. Folks what them don't know you. Them Thankfully, Spider wasn't harmed in the situation, but Chicago is a wild city with one of the highest murder rates in the country. And mm. things have got so bad that back in 2017, a 20-year-old pregnant woman was driving around the west side of Chicago. Her boyfriend was in the passenger seat while the nephew was in the back seat. The woman was on Facebook Live listening to music while driving around the city when suddenly a fire erupted. The woman can be heard yelling while at least 12 shots can be heard off camera. The woman eventually gets out of the car and runs to get help from a nearby house. She can be heard telling witnesses witnesses to call 911. Thankfully, the woman survived. But unfortunately, a boyfriend and the nephew passed away. The man was identified as Lazaric Collins and was believed to be the target of the shooting. The woman Dang. told police that another car blocked her way as she was driving down an alley. And that's when a dude got out of the car and started firing. Whoa. So it sounds like an attack that was linked to gang violence. And that isn't the only time something crazy has happened on a live in Chicago. Whoa. On March 31st, 2016, a man named Brian Fields was hit while standing outside a gas station in Chicago. <laughs> At the time of the incident, he was looking down at the cell phone or recording himself on Facebook Live. Just before the shooting, he could be heard telling the camera, they said they heard I was up here, so they had to open the store back up for the kids. And I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. Heard I was up here, so they had to open the store back up for the kids. I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. Oh, Minutes later, shots can be heard, and the suspect is briefly shown on camera. Brian was hit multiple times, including at least once in the face. Jeez. Brian was rushed to the hospital in critical condition, and thankfully, he pulled through. The shooter wasn't arrested, but police believe that it was gang-related. But not long after pulling through, Brian's enemies came back and took his life a few months later. Because Brian Ooh. lost his life while sitting in a white two-door vehicle in the 1900 block of West Garfield Boulevard. Now, let's move on to a dude from Alabama named Huncho De Niro, who was on live arguing with some of his ops one day since they fell out with each other. You going live about me for? Imagine I said Dude, you look ain't man, gang. young too. You ain't gang. You ain't hanging around me and sitting in Ray Ray and Kendrick. Wait. Oh my. Shit is detected. What? I'm on the through this plan. I'm a dunk. Oh. Huncho eventually sees his ops ride by, so he drops the phone and they get into a quick standoff. On mm. Facebook, I ain't beef for no. On Facebook, I ain't beef for no. I ain't beef with the north side because of no more. I ain't beef with love because of these. He then tells them to drive by again since he was ready for whatever. It seems what? like the dude he was beefing with must have been watching his live because literally, like three seconds later, they hit the block again. More wow. shots can be heard before he runs into the house and ends the live. Oh no, right, right. Spin back through. I ain't playing with none of y'all. Oh, wait. The hit record. I'm gonna shoot. Man, I'm shoot while they. Drive down the street while they were corn. But Ancho isn't the only one who went crazy on live when Jeez. seeing his ops because this next dude did the same. Because one day, Freshy and his friends were chilling on the block, dancing and listening to some music while on IG Live until one of the men noticed someone unusual pass by them. Once they noticed who it was, Freshy and his boys instantly started trying to chase the dude down. No. Oh. <laughs> That's quick. Yo, we on the water, my butt. Wow. Did you see how quick he switched, though? Freshie and his boys instantly started trying to chase the dude down. Nope. Hey, boy, that's, <laughs> that's quick. Yo, we on the water, my butt. Water, my butt. Water, my butt. 
The dude named Quay that they were chasing was too quick and ended up getting away since he was riding a dirt bike. But not long after this incident, Freshy and some of his homies ended up catching the dude named Quay once again, but this time while he was at work. What? Damn. I don't want no beef. What? I don't want no beef. What, Quay? And that's why you always have to be careful when going live. Especially when you're in the streets, since you never know who's watching. One night, Bugatti was live on Instagram, chilling in his car and talking to fans. Until someone off camera approached Bugatti's car, telling him he needed to move the car since he was in front of his house. And eventually, they started arguing, and things got so bad that the guy tried robbing him. Ain't you that rapper? Yeah, what's up? Cool, cool. Man, I heard you got some features going for sale. You can't for sale. I'm waiting on somebody, bro. Yeah. What you want? What you waiting on? <laughs> what you want, fam? Man, what this bro? I'm just trying to make sure everything all good. No one could tell what was going on, but you could hear them tussling in the background before shots started going off and before someone ended the live. And it's not clear if Bugatti got hit, but he's still dropping music and doing interviews. So if he got hit up, he kept it on the low and made a full recovery. Mm. Let's call. Let's call. Where y'all going at? Mm -hmm. Where y'all going at? Mm -hmm. And his next dude had a similar situation happen to him, but it seems like he got off on the robber. In the video, a man can be seen with a large stack of money, showing it off to the camera. He also keeps dissing some of his ops, claiming they aren't getting money like him. Mm. Ain't none of y'all get no money. Yo, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Call my phone, man, what's up, all that? He then goes on to claim he made all that in 10 minutes just from trapping. He also let the viewers know that he lost a few racks yesterday while shooting dice. Get 10 minutes in, finna bust another play. On God, on my life, on Jesus, finna bust another play. I ain't taking no trips, no well, none of that. Busting play, none. Three, two bands from dice yesterday. The dude keeps talking trash to the camera for a few minutes while flexing the money. Then, out of nowhere, things went left because this happened. You got it. You got it. He said you got it. You got it. The camera then goes black for a minute and shots can be heard going off in the background. It seems like the dude recording is the one firing. The camera then comes back into focus and the man can be heard yelling, what the how you delete this? How the you delete this bro? How the you get out this Seems like the dude got as far away from the scene as possible. But unfortunately, the man in the next clip never left the scene and things ended bad. Because the father of four goes live on Facebook begging for help during a construction fire. The man lets everyone on live know his location and says mm. that he can't get out. Damn. Yo, I'm Damn. in South Park right now at work. In a building on fire. Dang. And I can't get out. Jeez. It's getting harder and harder for them to see us. Damn. We're gonna have to stand out here and see. The Damn. building on fire, I'm trapped inside, me and my man. After a while, the man started screaming for help since no one was coming and the smoke was heavy, so no one couldn't really see him. Ah! Jeez. Ah! Ah! Damn. Yo, this building is on fire. I'm at work. Somebody send help. Unfortunately, the man passed away in the fire, and his Damn. mother was watching his final moments play out since Damn. she was watching his Facebook Live. Just from the live and the way the room filled up with smoke, wow. I didn't see it being any hope. A loving father, caring wow. person, and he just wanted to be with his children. In this next clip, a 19-year-old man from Memphis named Zeke Huncho. On September 7, 2022, Zeke randomly started driving around Memphis, firing at random people while streaming it on Facebook Live. What? on camera. I pull up and do this. I don't do it. What the say? No faking. No faking. Hear me? This real. Oh, my mama, Kate. How you think I'm playing? Kate, I'm for sure. This real. I'm getting. 
Zeke was riding around the city, crashing out, and doing this to almost any random person he had seen while on live. Wow. Zeke ended up hitting four people, and all of them passed away. Another Jeez. three were hit, but survived. And an eighth victim was carjacked, and thankfully, uninjured. Memphis police ended up putting out an alert, warning everyone in the city about Zeke that said, Be on the lookout for a male black occupying a blue or silver sedan, possibly an Infinity or Nissan, who was responsible for multiple shootings. We are getting reports that he is recording his actions on Facebook. We do mm. not have a specific location of where he is now. If you have any information of his whereabouts, call 911 immediately. Not long after the statement, police ended up catching Zeke after he crashed a Dodge Challenger that he carjacked from someone near Ivan in Hodges Road. They got him! Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, they got him. There you go, right there. There you go, girl, there you go. I got the best seat in the house, and you do too. I told you, America. Jeez. They got him, girl. Oh, Lord, they got him. Thank God they got him, though, because all kind of destruction and things. Zeke is facing a long list He's of charges, solid. including three counts of first-degree murder, reckless endangerment, and the commission of an act of terrorism. But Zeke isn't the only one from Memphis who has something crazy happen live. A young Memphis rapper named PSO Emmett was attending a funeral for his friend Jamarco Smith, another teen from Memphis who passed. On the way to the funeral, Emmett's cousin, PSO Dede, went live on IG, which showed them walking with a group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. Towards the end of the live, Dede and the dudes started taunting their ops telling them they ain't on nothing and never did anything to them. Mm. Never been on no good been on I ain't, I ain't never sent the slings out of our way. Mm. Oh God. Oh God. Talk. I bet you don't make it off. Not long after all the dissing, a group of shooters pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, mm. hitting both Emmett and his cousin Dede before fleeing. Dede was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett was pronounced dead on the scene. Dang. And even though P.S. Emmett was known for showing guns in his music videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the news that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. Emmett's father also felt the same way. I'm trying not to break down mm. on this camera because I want my Mr. Church. I want my son's killers brought to justice. A 22-year-old named David Lee was later mm. arrested in connection with the shooting, and he is being charged with first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Police also arrested Rico Lee, another person who had something to do with the shooting. And if you enjoyed the video, click this other video on the screen. Trust me, you'll enjoy it too. Bro, all that is a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. You gotta be careful. You man. That stuff. That stuff is crazy. Hearing about all that stuff. People getting killed. People just riding around the city, just shooting people. People just. That stuff is crazy. That's why I always say self love and positivity. Self love and positivity, man. Rest in peace to everybody in that video. Man. <sighs> and condolences to the people's families, too. Till next time, man. Self love and positivity. Take care of yourself. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Hey.